All right, geometry, 7-3, similar triangles. We just got done with 7-2, similar polygons. And this section is a little similar to the other one. <laughs> you can laugh now. Oh, it's been a tough morning already. All right, so enough of the horrible geometry jokes. Let's keep going. Um, first triangle similarity is going to be called angle angle. And you can abbreviate that with um, AA, so the angle-angle similarity. What it says is, if two angles of one triangle, let me get that, if two angles of one triangle are congruent to two angles of another triangle, then the two triangles are similar. Okay, if two angles of one triangle are congruent to two angles of another triangle, then the two triangles are similar. Just a quick example of that. If I look at those two triangles, obviously the little box mark means those are 90 degrees. I know that this angle right here, let me highlight a little bit, I know that this angle is congruent to this angle because of the little congruent marks. And since I know two of those angles are congruent, if I did know the actual values and subtracted from 180, I would also know that those two angles would be congruent as well. Okay, so that's the angle-angle similarity. So let's go on to the next one. Okay, now we have the side-angle-side similarity. Okay, and this one goes like this. If two sides of a triangle are proportional and the included angle. If two sides of a triangle are proportional, oh, I don't like the way that looks. Sorry about that, guys. I'm going to get rid of this line. And let me think about this for just a second. If two sides of a triangle are proportional to two sides of another triangle, and the included angles are equal, then the triangles are similar. Who knew you'd be writing so much today? two sides of a triangle are proportional to two sides of another triangle, and the included angles of those triangles are equal, then the triangles are similar. So let's get a quick example of this one. <coughs> okay, so 
we're looking at these two triangles. I know the one on the left has angles of 60 and 70. That's a total of 130. So that means this one has to be 50. And so that gives me these two sides in a proportion and these two sides in a proportion and then these two angles have to be equal okay side angle side so we know the angles are equal so let's go with the proportion is 4 over 8 the same as 3 over 6 obviously 1 half is equal to 1 half so these two triangles would be similar and so well I'm not sure what happened there don't write that sorry guys so now let's go to the third one and our final one for today and that's going to be the side angle side excuse me the side 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 the side 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 similarity and this one goes just as you probably can imagine it going if three sides of a triangle are proportional to three sides of another triangle then the triangles are similar okay a little punctuation there three sides of a triangle are proportional to three sides of another triangle then the triangles are similar so let's get an example of this okay so my question would be um, we're going to ask if triangle ABC is similar to triangle EDC. Okay, so I'm going to compare, let's just do a quick comparison, AB with ED. That will have to be equal to BC over DC and then the last one would have to be CA over CE so let's see if this is the case AB is 6 ED is 15 BC is 5 DC is 12.5 and then finally CA Let's see, where is CA? There's CA, that's 8. And that's going to be um, in a ratio with CE, which is 20. Okay, so let's pull out the calculator, look at these, uh, look at these ratios. So we've got 6 divided by 15, which is going to give me 0 0.4. Then we're going to take 5 and divide it by 12.5. Oh, excuse me, 5 divided by 12.5, and we're going to get 0 0.4, and then 8 divided by 20, guess what we're going to get, 0 0.4. So are these two triangles similar? Yes, because of the side-side-side similarity. Okay, so about 10 minutes, 7-3, similar triangles.